what's up aries how are you guys i know you guys probably feel like i don't do uh as many tarot readings i mean I, it's not really my thing to do so many tarot readings like i know there's a lot of readers that do readings like every single day <laughs> uh, i just don't do that because i really do feel like when it comes to tarot you kind of have to give the energy you know time to like transpire and happen and you know free will and all of those things have to come together like i don't think uploading videos every single day for the signs like that's not really helpful if anything i feel like it's confusing you know what i'm saying um but like there's like i said there are many tarot readers out there so if you guys don't like that you have to wait a month for a new reading um you can you know i'm sure you guys already follow other readers so <laughs> um hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much but I just feel like there's more value, you know, in uploading love readings once a month, you know, and then the bonus reads. The bonus reads are always good too, you know, um, which I really encourage because it'll, you know, whoever uh, likes the videos and stuff like that, those are the ones who get, th those are the zodiac signs who usually get the, the bonus reads. So I do encourage that for you guys if you do, if you're, if you are interested in like more than once a month reading i would say to you know just make sure you're interacting with the videos you know um that helps both of us out <laughs> all right guys well without further ado i do want to say thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel for subscribing if you have if you haven't be sure to do so before clicking off and of course if you feel that my messages resonate with you all um whoop, all right I hope you all have had a happy new year. All right, let's see. Well, a happy new year so far. <laughs> all right, Aries. Let's see what's going on for you guys in the middle of January for your bonus read. Oh, the peacock flew out, which does talk about beauty, integrity, virtue, sophisticated, and classy. Okay, Aries. <laughs> you guys could be you know either going through some physical changes you know changing your diet changing maybe even going to the gym changing your hair color changing the uh like your hair cut changing your fashion like you know the, the types of clothes that you wear um and oh sorry one of my cards fell sorry guys um and you guys could be um you know very coming across very sophisticated very classy like the card said you know having a lot of integrity sticking to your guns this could be how someone is viewing you or how you're viewing someone else very beautiful that's for sure all right let's see what we get for the aries oh we have the moth the moth uh speaks about no longer needing validation uh, tr seeking truth, self-worth, following your, your truth, and letting go of control. So I feel like you guys are, now that maybe you guys have recently gone through something with someone, uh, this is how you, you are either being viewed by your person, or this is the energy that you view your person in, you know, maybe they're going through some sort of, um, growth you know what i'm saying because when we see moths moths are they attract they're attracted to like the light right usually you see moths flickering around lamps and lights and all of that um and some people say that they like to eat clothes or fabric or whatever the case i feel like that speaks about maybe someone realizing something when it comes to you or you realizing something when it comes to someone else um some sort of like realization uh or you guys are feeling like you do have to evolve you know there's some sort of call to um to growth you know to to transform um maybe you guys were in like a, a dark period of time wow as i say that the swan comes out the swan is another very beautiful energy on the bottom oh the mutual energy is the panther 
The panther speaks about being independent. That's um, feminine energy. So you got, I may be connecting with the feminine um, energy. Could be male or, or women. Doesn't have to be just women. Uh, very powerful. Uh, thrives off of like the moon energy. Very ambitious and very empowered. Oh, those are really good energies, Aries. I like that. I like that for you guys. <laughs> um, so maybe both of you guys are like standing in your power in some sort of way. Um, both of you guys could be working on your independence at this time. Feeling like there could be moments of like moodiness between you and your person, you know, like like up and down energy. Um, also the moon, if you guys are into like astrology and stuff like that, you may want to look into, um, where the moon, like the, the lunar calendar, basically, you know, when the new moon, the full moon, first quarter moon, last quarter moon, all of those things, uh, that may give you some answers to like why the relationship may be in the position that it's in right now. Um, so the swan energy it says dignity, beauty, and elegance. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And the swan gently guides you with loving intuition and divine feminine, feminine energy to recognize your own beauty and grace. This type of beauty is inherent and does not depend on what you do and what your age is. It is simply the splendor of who you are on the soul level. When you connect with this part of yourself, you radiate elegance and allure that is beyond skin deep and beyond measure. Your beauty is timeless. When you recognize yourself as this wonderful being of light, that's so funny because that goes hand in hand with the moth energy. I was just talking about moths are attracted to light. You can heal the wounds of the ugly duckling who didn't feel they belonged. The swan gives you permission to be soft with yourself, to shed the layers that no longer belong to your truth. When you face jealousy, competition, or judgment, instead of feeding insecurities and shame, spread compassion and love. Love yourself unconditionally and show others in your flock how it's done. If that ain't right, right? Aries, I am loving your energy. Like for real. <laughs> I'm loving your energy, guys. This is beautiful. This is like you guys just saying like, fuck it. Like, you know, yeah, I, you know, may have people who look at me and think that like I, I feel like I'm uh, superior to them. But that, you know, that's not the case. Like if you don't, you have to get to know me. You know what I'm saying? You may be like judged a lot of the time about like how um how you carry yourself you know you may be very classy you may be you're just someone what i'm getting is like a no nonsense person you know like there's no nonsense you you get the job done you do the job the right way and you keep it moving and instead of you showing people that you need help you need this you need that you're very self-reliant and some people look at that as like hmm you know why that person doesn't need any help like they think they're better than everybody <laughs> You know, like low vibrational people. I feel like you may have a few low vibrational people around you. Or you're, you know, you, you may know someone that you feel is that way. And instead of you like meeting them in that low vibrational energy, I feel like you're above that. You're like, well, I'm just going to be kind. I'm just going to be nice to this person. You know, I'm going to spread love. I'm going to be my normal, natural self. I don't need to be petty to get you know what I need, like, I don't need to be petty, so, that is awesome, Aries, and I also feel like you guys are in a, a, a receiving energy, whether you're a male or a woman, it's like, you see the work that you put in to, you know, whatever situation this is talking about, you see the work that you put in, and at this point, you're just like, all right, I'm open to receive now, I'm ready to receive, I'm no longer, like, of course, we always have to do work. But, I mean, I'm no longer going to, you know, go outside of myself to have to prove to someone, you know, what I'm worth or, like, no. If you want me, put the effort in and we'll both do this together. Show me consistency, you know. Show me that I don't have to compromise who I am. I don't have to compromise on my beliefs. I don't have to compromise on my morals. You know what I'm saying? In order to be with you. We both just click, you know? Show me that you're serious about me. 
beautiful this is beautiful energy i love this you guys are really empowered at this time so go ahead with your best self aries <laughs> go ahead with your best self all right let's see we have limitless look at this man if the universe is not in your corner like oh you have love on the bottom of the deck too limitless it's like you guys are realizing that like this this life is limitless we only we set the limit you know what i'm saying we set the limit to where the 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 um how far we could go you know or how far how, how far we get only we set that that tone that's beautiful aries i am feeling this energy energy and you have uh leo energy kingdom Ooh, on the bottom of the deck, you have um, awe and ecstasy. That's Aquarius energy. So you guys could um, have those placements in your chart or even dealing with one of those signs. Oh, Aries. Oh, before I do these. That is nice, nice, nice energy. But look at this with the Leo card. This is the Leo card. It's a lion with a crown. That's beautiful. The king. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you guys may feel like that, like I'm a king or like I'm a queen. So whoever I get with, they're going to recognize that they're going to see my value. And I'm just going to add on to, you know, their life and they're going to add on to mine. And you know what I just realized? You have Leo and Aquarius. That's those are um, opposite signs. So this could be picking up on, you know, your partner. How you feel about your partner. Like, they are your king, they are your queen. And it's like there's no one else that you want to be with. You love this person. And with the limitless, you guys could even feel like there's limit limitless potential between you and this person. Well, two cards try to come out. We have stay optimistic about your love life and we have getting to know each other. Let's see. I don't really take those flippers. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Hmm. Was codependency an issue for you and your person? Maybe someone had fear of abandonment. Maybe someone felt like they needed a mother. They needed a father. It's like you were filling that void for that person. Oh, and you have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Oh, and then on the bottom of the deck, you have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Hmm. These are all like really contradicting energies. You got codependency, unrequited love, and chemistry. So it's like, I don't know if there are two people involved here. You could be dealing with a Leo and an Aquarius or... Um, those could be signs in your chart, but I'm trying to understand. The chemistry, that's a positive card. Like that talks about like getting to know someone and feeling chemistry. Maybe you guys were in a relationship recently, left that relationship, realized that it was kind of one-sided, you know, and that person did suffer from codependency issues they were probably toxic um then they probably didn't even realize it <laughs> and you're like all right no that's not no that is not gonna do it for me that's not gonna cut it for me sorry so maybe you guys could be casually dating but we'll see i'm gonna get some more some more cards y'all oh we got partying time with friends having fun happily single living in the moment all right aries that's right put yourself out there there's too many people out here to be you know allowing fuckery <laughs> to get in the way right all right i like that teddy bear interested in you blooming romance flirting wants a date that talks about new uh maybe new people that you recently met or a new person that you recently met someone who is interested in you maybe they they could be flirting with you or you could be flirting with this person they do want to date you that's for sure <laughs> you could have even met this person while you went out you know to a party or you went out with someone 
Um, we have blowing kiss, unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness, uh, affection returned. All these cards talk about new, like new chapters. I love, I love it. I love this for you. Girl with a snake. Charmed, used, enable, and boundaries. All right, well, that's not such a positive card. <laughs> we don't want that card. Um, so just be careful. Someone may be trying to use you or charm you. Um, just make sure you have your boundaries up. And make sure that you are not enabling anyone. Like if someone from the past, I'm not saying this is your situation, but if anyone is dealing with this, if someone from the past is trying to come back around, make sure that you get to the bottom of why they're trying to come back around. Hopefully they don't have any hidden agenda. Hopefully they're not trying to use you for whatever you may have or whatever they think you have. Um, someone may even be trying to seduce you. Maybe this person knows that you are, you know, um, vulnerable you're in like not a vulnerable place but like you're in that mode of like wanting to get to know people so just be careful because some people you know they're not the best <laughs> uh you have key on a ring many options unconventional one night stand and string along then on the bottom of the deck you have camera reminiscing making memories learn from the past and perception you guys could be looking at old pictures, you know. It doesn't have to be old pictures with you and a lover. It could be like old pictures with you and family, you and old friends. Um, just like reminiscing about when things were like happy, you know. The people you surrounded yourself when you were happy. Looking back at those memories, you know. You guys may be casual da casually dating right now. Maybe you guys have a lot of options at this time. Uh, people are looking at you like, "Oh, Aries is a little snap." <laughs> I could get, I could get me some Aries. I need some Aries in my life. <laughs> Let's see. Someone like if you are interested in someone, just be careful because that person might even think that you do have many options. Like there are other people that you're talking to. And they don't want to be strung along. So, you know, they might back away if they do feel like you have other options. Like, they're not interested in that. So, just, just want to put that out there. <laughs> uh, you guys could be, you know, um, having, like, casual hookups, you know. I am not here to judge nobody, so don't feel judged. Like, I am not judging anybody. That is your business. You're a grown a grown woman, a grown man. If that's what you like to do, that's what you like to do. My only thing is, as long as you're being honest about it, and you're not, you know, selling people dreams, like, oh, yes, I'm going to be your, um, you know, uh, what did they call that? Your prince of, your prince charming. I'm going to be your prince charming, your partner. Meanwhile, you just want to. Do the do and keep it pushing. <laughs> so just make sure that you're honest. That's all I'm saying. Don't be breaking nobody's heart, Aries. <laughs> all right, let's see. What does the tarot have to say? Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles as the first card out. That's beautiful. The Page of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. Wow, the Seven of Pentacles. And the Lovers. You have a lot of Pentacles here. Gemini energy, you have the high priestess. Oh, Aquarius energy is showing up too. Um, so the high priestess to me gives me heavy cancer vibes because I feel like from all the water signs, cancers are usually the most intuitive. That's my opinion. Okay, y'all. Y'all can, you know, disagree if you want, but we could agree to disagree. <laughs> but to me, cancers are really, really intuitive. Um, so you have Gemini energy here too, and the letters B and J. I just I just noticed that in the card. I don't know why my eyes went to that. Um, hmm. All right. So the overall energy here that I'm picking up on is you guys trying to listen to your intuition, um, or you guys having like some sort of like insight when it comes to a certain person. 
there's something that you are keeping to yourself, you know, um, knowing some sort of information. Um, and you're just, you know, being reserved, being cool, being calm, cool, calm, and collected, right? Um, you may be feeling bored right now when it comes to your love life, but I feel like that's only temporary. That's not going to last forever. It's like, you're like, all right, come on, who's coming in? <laughs> you know, uh, you guys could be very heavily focused on your coin, on your finances right now, trying to uh you know make more money you could even be going for a promotion or something like that um i feel like you guys are definitely holding your cup close to your heart you're basically like if that's if this is not going to be long term or something that i feel is valuable enough for me to invest into mm -mm, i'm not doing it i'm not doing it uh, you may have someone who looks at you as a soulmate or as a twin flame type of um, situation. Uh, someone who you've invested a lot of time into, like wondering when are your, you know, when are you going to see the fruit that you bear, right? It's like, okay, the clock is ticking. I know that this person is my soulmate. Well, what is taking the universe so long to get us aligned into alignment? What is happening? Um, you guys may also be either like, not distracted, but like you guys could be right now into some sort of new project. Uh, there's something that you have your attention on. Something that you see potential in. And it has all of your attention right now. It's like maybe you're looking for a way to... Maybe you're wanting to offer something to someone and just not clear on how to do so. But you definitely want to do that. You want to offer something to this person. Um, could be a Gemini. Could be a Cancer. Um, even a Pisces. Because the High Priestess I overheard someone saying that that's Pisces energy. Even though I don't know how, but... I guess because the moon, there's a moon, a crescent moon on the card. All right, let me get some clarifiers before we get too deep into this. You guys could also be hanging out with family. Um, you guys could be like really loyal, loyal people. Or maybe someone else, you feel someone else is really loyal to you, you know? Has your back all the time. Or you guys could even be trying to uh, make amends with your family, you know? If this is the mother or father of your children, you could be trying to see how things could like, you know, jumpstart again. That's not to say that you don't have options. There may be a lot of options that you have currently, but you're not really, you're more interested in like trying to make it work with your, your, your family. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. You guys could have had, or uh, maybe going through um, like um, some sort of hardship, you know, like, I feel like, because with this card, this is, every deck has like their own card that, you know, for that deck. This is this deck's card. And this card, to me, what it represents is like, you see, in reverse, well, okay, upright, you see how she's holding the wolf, she's holding onto the wolf, but like, she's pleasant, right? There's no like, anxiety or redness or struggle. She's cool. When it's this way, she's not so cool. She's like in a rush. She's anxious. She's like, what is happening? You know, what is happening? What am I going to do? Look, it's like she can't even control the, the wolf. She can't control the wolf. Maybe you guys feel like um, either you or this person. Uh, it's like when you do try to talk to this person, it's just bound to like go left. You know, it's like we argue or... Nobody tries to understand each other. It's always a struggle trying to get a point across. Um, and this could also represent like a lot of struggle when it comes to your finances. Uh, you guys could feel like overworked 
and not really getting paid what you want what you feel you deserve to be paid it's like you know you work and work and work and you you make money and it's like all that money just goes <laughs> it's like okay like you know i have nothing <laughs> I work so hard and I have like, I, I can't even enjoy the money that I work for. Um, and you guys could be getting really, really tired of that. Um, that's a lot of struggle. The Six of Cups. I feel like you guys are really wanting to, there could be some sort of age difference between you and this person. Like, two to like five year difference um you guys are really wanting to like let your childlike nature come out and as well as this person's childlike nature it's like you don't want to argue you don't want things to go left you just want to talk you just want things to like try you want to try to salvage the the situation wow with the page of cups on the bottom again like you it's like you you or this person is realizing like you know what i do need you like I, of course i want you but i also need you like you help me through so much you know it's like there's some sort of realization with this person like you know that is my soulmate or this this is the person that i want to be with i want to be with this person they help me they heal me they you know uh emotionally they emotionally give to me, you know? Let me see this page of pentacles. The empress. Ooh, some, uh, someone, I'm going to read it generally instead of reading it like you, they, whatever. So someone feels like they don't have enough to offer uh, this empress. This empress is, all, is very abundant. Uh, empress is um, abundance, a lot of abundance. They the, they're the receiver. The Empress is Venus energy. This person may be very attractive, uh, knows their worth, and will not do, they will not bend for anyone. It's like you meet me where I'm at, or you keep it pushing with the Empress. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Someone is trying to approach this Empress slowly because they don't want to be, <laughs> they don't want to be rejected. But I feel like the em or the empress could even feel like um, someone doesn't have what it takes. It's like this person is not meeting my standards. And like I'm not going to be wasting my time with someone who is a page. Meanwhile, I'm an empress. You have a lot of lessons to learn. <laughs> you have a lot of growth that you need to do. Um, but that's not to say that when you do, when the person does reach the level of growth that's required... The Empress is going to ignore them, you know. So, let's see. Another one for the Empress. Eight of Wands. That talks about travel. That talks about messages. Very fast energy. Very fast. This is, look, you could even see in the card. All the animals are running super fast with the arrows and the direction of the arrows. Yeah, someone feels like they don't have time. Like they're running out of time. They're running out of time to make this offer to this empress. But it's like they're scared. They're hesitant because they don't know if what they have is good enough. Like what they want is for the empress to say yes. But they know if they go up to the empress and they don't give the empress what the empress deserves or what they want, they may be rejected. So they feel like they're in a rush. Oh, the ace of pentacles just flipped out. That's beautiful sun on the bottom of the deck oh. are you guys wanting to marry this person are you guys looking to like propose to this person you guys are feeling like you have to act fast like empresses don't normally stick uh, uh last a long time they're usually off the market quick <laughs> maybe you guys are you know or they feel like this about you aries the ten of pentacles again Is the Empress a new person and then this Queen of Cups is the person you have a family with or you have children with? You have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, Jupiter Energy. The 
The Queen of Cups could be someone you feel uh, you were in a repetitive cycle with. Someone that definitely you have children with. The King of Cups. Oh my God, that's a soulmate. That's a soulmate situation right there. Yeah, you are not trying to let this person go. This Empress, Queen of Cups, could be a water sign, could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, you don't want to let this person go. That You feel like that is mine. That is mine. And ain't nobody coming to take what's mine. So I need to act fast. <laughs> you got Leo energy here on the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, you guys are just wanting to like get away from a very unstable. I mean, unstable. What am I even saying? How about I talk in English? A very unstable circumstance. You're wanting to make it stable, you know? Wanting to build a home with this person, maybe even move in with this person. Just wanting to like, you know, focus on like family life, you know, wanting to get your family back. The fool. The fool normally that could be a naive person though. Like they don't watch where they're where, where they're going. They're just like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna take this risk. <laughs> Not knowing the repercussions or what could happen if they take that risk. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, you guys are at some point, you guys are going to decide to just make an offer to this Empress slash Queen of Cups. You're just like, fuck it. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just do it because me just sitting back here overthinking the situation is not helping me. It's not helping them. It's not helping the situation. I have to do something. You feel like you're out of time. Maybe you feel like this Empress has a lot of options and you're just like not willing to take that chance to wait around. For the right way, right? The right way to offer this to this person. If you do that, you feel like you may lose them. So you're just like, nah, I'm going to just go ahead and offer them some kind of romantic. Could be a romantic getaway. Could be a romantic date. You know, have someone watch the kids while you take this person out. Something like that. You have the world. Yep, you want to you want a new cycle. You want to start a new cycle with this person. But something that's going to be healthy, something that's going to be stable, something that's going to be passionate because the lovers, that's a very passionate card. Very loving. Duality, you know, like you play your role, which is the wife role or the girlfriend role, you know, you be the the feminine and I'll play the 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 man role, the masculine. You know, you just want a new cycle and you want, maybe you want to travel with this person, the seven of cups. Yeah. You guys are really thinking about how this situation is going to turn around. That's what I see here. You got the three of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. I feel like, I feel like the universe is definitely working on this relationship. Um, Aries. The universe is definitely working on this for you. Uh, it is being divinely guided right now. And you are definitely being uh, encouraged that don't lose hope. Not to lose hope. All right, let me see what you have to look forward to. What's coming in. Some warnings or some abundance right some good at new energy for you guys aries let's see oh we have the fool have the courage to embrace change take risks be adventurous okay be adventurous aries so if you guys are thinking to take this person on a date be adventurous <laughs> you have transformation reach out for the power and strength to make changes enrich your life and become the person you want to be there's some sort of self-growth that needs to be realized and that needs to be applied goals progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved oh you got proposal on the bottom of the deck aries a romantic or business opportunity is indicated so all great cards all positive i love this reading guys i love it all right, well, I hope I offered you guys some guidance. That That's, you know, that's my reading for Ari, for, for the bonus Aries. Um, I will be back next week, most likely. 
with the um february love readings uh i do have a vote a voting poll on my on my channel um so that you can vote if you want the fire signs to be first i would i suggest voting because right now air and earth are in the lead so if you want fire to be first definitely participate in the voting poll okay all right guys i love you so much don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like my video if you feel i've resonated all right bye